Hey everybody. Last time we made a whole bunch of little origami lilies, the easy mode version. These were six inch by six inch squares and they fit like you can put three of these flowers nicely in this little Sanbo box and then this green kind of looks like a leaf. So I'm gonna take these out of here for now and we'll just shove those up out of the way for a moment. And then this is called a Masu box, which I kind of use like the flower pot in our little abstract origami design. And this is called a Sanbo, okay? Which is a traditional Japanese um, origami fold that they often use for putting little offerings like food or stuff in. Um, but a lot of people fold these and make them like little decorative containers for candy or snacks or paper clips or little odds and ends because you can keep on your table. So let's go ahead and see how to make this Sanbo box. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a green sheet of scrapbook paper. So it's color on one side and white on the other side. So to do the Sanbo, you want the color to be down first, and then you're gonna do the first two folds, which is the cross, okay? So fold it in half, vertical, then open it up and fold it in half horizontal, okay? Or vertical and vertical, whichever way you wanna think about it when you twist it. So we do the cross, then we're gonna flip it so it's color up, and this time we're gonna do an X. So we're gonna fold on the diagonal this time, okay? One and two. Now this is a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of paper. You can scale these up or down depending on what size you want. So you might just experiment a little bit and see what you get, okay? So I've got those things right there. So now I'm gonna do what's called a blintz fold, okay? Which is by folding the triangles into the center, we're gonna make a smaller square, okay? So I'm gonna take each corner and move it to the middle. Okay, and lined up in the center. Okay, this is called a blintz fold. And we're gonna fold those all in to the center. Okay. Now that we've got those there, we wanna fold this up into the base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this this way. Okay, kind of a mountain fold and this, this way, another mountain fold, and then I'm gonna squeeze these in and squeeze this together to fold it into this shape, okay? We did this on the lily too, we just did it a little bit differently, we didn't make it smaller, but pinch it together, fold it, and you want this diamond shape to show up, okay? Now, you'll see these two little pockets here that you can reach inside of. So this is the trickiest part here. I wanna open these pockets up so I get my fingers kind of inside of there, and then I want to pop that open and smooth it out a little bit until it turns into a rectangular shape, okay? So, and then I'm gonna make this crease here. So this is a rectangle right here, and then I'm gonna flip this over and then find the other pocket, okay? I wanna open that up with my fingers and my hands and fold it down into this rectangular shape, okay? And then once I have that there, I'm gonna turn the page, okay? So that I have this shape, okay? right here, okay? And I can turn both of them too. So I'm gonna take those rectangle shapes and fold those into place. And now I have these two open areas here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these in from the side and do like a cabinet fold or closing the door, okay? So I'm gonna fold these into the center line and make a crease here, okay? Just like you were taking doors and closing them up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this part down, okay, and I'm gonna fold it down in front, okay? Sort of looks like an envelope that way. 
then flip everything over and do this same thing on the other side, okay? So fold that part in and that part in like you're closing the doors, okay? And then fold this part down, sort of like an envelope flap, okay? Now we're almost to the box. This is the cool part, okay? Pick it up and open it up a little bit and pull the sides open and you'll start to see the box come together. You'll have to push your hands into there a little bit and you'll have to smooth out the bottom, okay? And try to flatten it out a little bit, okay? But it'll flatten out into a nice square shape, okay? It has these little flaps on here, so this is the bottom, okay? Looks like that, and there you go. Then you can grab your flowers, whatever colors you want, and you can fill in your picture. So we've got these white flowers like this, okay? which I don't like as well as the flowers that have some color on the petals, okay? You'll probably agree, okay? So whatever flowers you've made, you can fill your little box here. So this will work cool for a little May basket, although it's not a room for a lot of candy, but you can hide some things in there, okay? And if you can't get this done for May Day, then keep it in mind. It might be a cool Mother's Day present too. So, all right, so there's the Sanbo with the easy mode lilies in there. So next video, I wanna show you how to make the Masu box, okay? So that you can have a little flower pot to sit that into as well. And then those will be the three parts of this little project. All right, okay? Good luck working on your Sanbo. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.